take 25 or something. So, she's got your tidy bricks, and today we're going to be talking about the new Mojo One Cut and Fill volume calculations it can now do. So, I'm in the landscaping industry. It's perfect for me for knowing how much material is actually going to come out of the ground and how much material is got to go back into the ground by using the new Cut and Fill volume calculation part of it. If you haven't got one yet, Get yourself one, they're a godsend, 30 quid off, uh, quote tidy bricks 30. And if you've got one already, we're going to go through a couple of hints and tips, best practices for using Emoja. Right, let's get into it. So the app is free to download as well, so there's no added cost. Literally download the Emoja Pro app, um, adapt it to your stick as well. If you do have a stick, you don't have to, but it's an added bonus because it saves you from actually bending down into the corners. Just open up your app. Select what you actually want to do, connect it to your stick, get in position, and just plan your routes. Just plan your routes and get cracking. Easy. So now we're going to try the volume feature. So we're going to walk right around the patio, placing lots of marks. As you can see here, I'm just planning my route. No rush. I figure out where I'm going to go next, and I plot the marker down. I've got an obstacle coming up, no problem. Just walk around the obstacle, the Mosier will know what line to actually take. So keep my walk my way around. Another obstacle again, no worries, just plonk it down. Here it did get a little bit messy. I did kind of put the Mosier in the wrong spots, but it actually figured out for me in the end and squared it all up for me nicely. So for the next part now, I go on to edit and cut fill slide the bar across and it gives me the volume difference between the top of the patio and the bottom of the patio as I can see here now I need four and a half cubes to fill that void. So I find the best way to actually hold the Mojo stick is just to let it relax in between your index finger and your thumb and just let it sit there. So make sure this is nice and loose, not too loose but you want it to be loose enough so when you actually put it down, if there's a little bit of a bump or something, it'll just sit, relax. So try not to bump it into anything as well. Try to keep the head as flat as possible in the same directions. You will have to turn it, but just slowly turn it. Don't do any sudden movements, because I'll just confuse it. If you've got any obstacles in your way, plan your route, walk around it, the Mojo won't care. It'll still give you that direct straight line. So while I'm here, I might as well just check out a couple of levels. So this is how easy it is to sort your levels out. Put the motor up against the wall where the patio's got to go. And now I've moved it over to the wall just so I can see what the difference is in height. And there it is, 12 centimetres. Now that was nice and easy. The traditional method which I used to use was to draw a sketch, then go around after putting measurements to the sketch, get the customer's email address, back to the house, work out the calculations, write off a quote, send it to the customer to find out to see if they want to actually take the job on. Rather than using the Mosier, when I get to the job, I can measure everything up and I can give him a heads up idea on how much it's actually going to cost before I actually go home. So it just speeds everything up so much. So if you want to get one of these, Quote Tidybrex30 in the comments and you get 30 quid off. Happy days.